hungry. I didn't eat anything and it's already like 7 p.m. driving to another restaurant right now though <laughs> i'm just having this as a snack i guess Hi guys, so I just finished studying and doing a group call for my business presentation tomorrow I have my first presentation tomorrow for my intro to business class Me and my group were rehearsing our script and presentation for tomorrow Next week is my midterm week, so I've been like really stressed and there's like so much to do so This week has just been like really busy and I'm low-key like terrified for next week because I have two midterms in the span of two days and then I also have a test this coming Sunday I don't know why it's Sunday but I have an econ test then. I have an econ quiz on Friday, which is in two days. But yeah, I'm having like a really hard time prioritizing everything. And like, I just have so much to do that I don't really know what to start with. To be very honest and like raw with you guys, I just, I feel like I'm not doing good at all in school right now. I'm struggling so much. It may seem like I have like my shit together and I'm like on top of things in my videos when I study and stuff because I do read comments that like say how is your life so like productive and like you know if anything right now it's 12 34 a.m and I did like the bare minimum I wrote down my agenda for what I need to finish today but as you can see I didn't check anything off so yeah today was not that productive I still have to do like all of this I also have to wake up early tomorrow because I'm going on campus and be on campus by like 9 50 but yeah that was just a little life update as a break I'm gonna have some macarons from this like small business called dainties these are my absolute favorite macarons it's this bakery in Toronto on Queen Street if you live in Toronto and you want to go these look so good. I always make my sister bring these home when she comes to visit. A little snack break at 12.39 a.m. I don't know what flavor to have yet. I'm gonna go with strawberry cheesecake. Mm. Honestly, I don't know how the flow of this video is gonna be because I kind of just like filmed parts of my reading week if you don't know what reading week is it's basically like a week off of school where you're supposed to study they give you a week to like study because midterms are coming up and i did not use my reading week at all to study so before i start studying again i wanted to show you guys my notion setup and this portion of the video is also kindly sponsored by notion so thank you so much to them i've been using notion for a really long time for those of you who don't know notion is an all-in-one workspace where you can basically organize every aspect of your life whether it's for school your job hobbies especially as a university student right now and a youtuber it does get really tough to manage stuff and just organize my life so notion really helps with that because i'm able to keep track of everything so i'm going to be showing you guys my notion setup and giving you a little tour honestly my notion setup hasn't really changed ever since the last time i showed it because i'm not really one of those people that care too much about like how pretty their notion setup looks i'm kind of too lazy for that so i just keep it simple and the way it is but yeah this is my home page up here i have a gif from howl's moving castle you can change the banner up here if you click change cover you can also change your icon which is really cool i kept my home page really simple and only put stuff that's really important so i have this like to-do list of things that i need to constantly remind myself of these are just here for me to like look at and 
always like remember to do since this one's already done i have a check mark you can just check mark it i forgot to delete it and then this tracker thing i love i got it off of someone else's notion template that i will link down below in my description box but i think this is super cute and it's just like nice to look at when you're feeling like unmotivated next we have calendar this is what my calendar looks like this is kind of like an online agenda i just write everything like important dates and stuff to finish today's the 21st i forgot to add that i have a business presentation at 10 a.m upcoming ones i have my marketing midterm my accounting midterm my psychology test after that i have school i have a section for each of my courses so accounting if you click it i just have this chart and i write down every little thing that i need to do for this specific class i also have econ i have marketing psych and then intro to business next we have youtube so i have video ideas sponsorships and video schedule these are all separate pages and to do that you can just kind of like add a page and title it wherever you want oh oops i did that by accident for video ideas i just have stuff listed here it's not really too updated i don't really go on this that often but i do kind of just jot down like video ideas when i come up with something i have my sponsorships one and this one is really helpful for me and then here i have video schedule and this one's pretty funny because it's kind of like rough work of my videos basically when i film a vlog sometimes i do like write down stuff that i need to like do during that vlog for example my latest video schedule it's kind of like stupid to look at but i just like write down like really rough notes so this one was for my night routine that's already posted on my channel but yeah i just added these because i didn't want to forget to do these in my video then i have my anime um page which is still the same as last time if you watched my like old notion video uh, i have shown in romance watching and plan to watch list my plan to watch and watching list aren't really that updated but as you can see i have a few romances listed here that i've watched and i think this is just so cute to like visualize all the anime you've watched up here i have a gif from Misekoi, one of my favorite romance animes my last page is my wishlist page and this one oh my god that's kind of embarrassing i literally wrote edgy stockings this list i go on often because i tend to forget what i want why do i have pimple patches under my wish list um this is more like stuff that i need to buy slash wish list so that is pretty much it for my notion setup and if you guys are interested you can sign up using the link in my description box down below i got this package in the mail today and i wanted to unbox it on camera it's from cleo this is not sponsored by them it's just gifted by them Their packaging is so cute. That's so cute. There's also these ones. Oh my god, the shade is so pretty and natural. I usually like like nude and more like muted lip tints rather than very like bright and corally ones. My go-to lip tint is the Ink Velvet 17 from Peripera. I have it. In my makeup storage which i'm too lazy to get but i wear that one like every single day but i think this one is gonna be my new favorite i've actually been needing a new blush because i'm almost out of my everyday one i've always been using this blush as you can see it's so cute it says it's okay you already shine with a smiley face oh yeah by the way don't mind my nails they look so crusty right now because i started like chipping the nails off and now like my actual nails are busted too also let me know what kind of vlogs you like better if you like vlogs of me like going out more and doing like more fun stuff like for example going out with friends just being out and like doing something like i don't know shopping or if you prefer vlogs of me just like staying home and kind of rotting at home in my room i feel like a lot of people like my at home vlogs i've seen a few comments oh my god this blush is so pretty wait i love this blush
Hi guys, so it is the next day. I can barely hear myself talk because of my headphones. I had them on because I was listening to music. I'm gonna be heading out now to try to get my new phone today. I tried to book like an appointment to get into Apple, but online all of the reservations are full. So I'm not too sure if I can like even get into the store, but I'm also meeting with my sister and we're probably gonna get some dinner. The past few days have been really gloomy and it's currently raining right now. As you can see, this is today's outfit. I feel like I always wear this sweater when it becomes more like chilly outside. I don't know, it's so comfortable and like oversized, so. be in it. <laughs> you look ugly though. <laughs> So bad that I can't take them off. It's so cold today. But I'm wearing this like light jacket. Mmm. <laughs> just got pearl milk tea. Because apparently like mango has some hepatitis A thing. <laughs> I don't know. No, dead ass. I'll put it here. Can you give context? <laughs> like in Ontario. Frozen mango right now in Ontario. There's a apparently, call back for yeah. It. On the news so it's been a while since i picked up my camera but i had my marketing midterm today and it actually went really well it was so much easier than i expected i thought it would be really hard so i was really scared because i honestly haven't been doing too good in any of like my assessments or tests for uni so far like i've been borderline passing everything i have my accounting midterm in two days so i'm really scared for that one and then i have my psychology test on november 2nd so after that my midterm week is pretty much over i also wanted to do a quick haul because i went shopping with my sister the other day okay so first i picked up some manga and i'm so happy about these volumes because i've actually been looking for these specific volumes for so long so it's actually kind of shocking that i found these at indigo every time i go to indigo they never have like the volumes that I want in stock but the day I went I don't know if they had like a restock there was so much manga they had almost like every single manga it's so funny because most of the manga that I get I already read it online anyway so I picked up this blue period volume it's volume one I started blue period a while ago but the anime came out so when I saw this I kind of freaked out because I don't know, it's like really rare to see Blue Period at Indigo. I don't know why, but I really like animes that have to do with like the main character finding a passion or having like no motivation or like meaning in their life, but then they find something that like changes their life. Stuff like Given, Your Line April, Haikyuu, if you know what I mean. And then for the one that I was actually like freaking out over is this Given volume. If you don't know, I've been wanting this specific volume of Given so badly because first of all, the cover Hiragi and Ueno and this volume actually came out really recently like the physical copy the English translated one It was actually hidden on the shelves like it was at the very top I don't know what my luck was, but this was there. There was one left. Of course. I already read this I wanted the physical copy so badly and I'm definitely gonna like reread it again Oh my god, i'm looking at like the time on my camera because it shows how long you've been filming for and it's been seven minutes and 50 seconds so i've been rambling about manga for that long i'll probably cut like half of it out when i'm editing but i also got this planner from muji my other planner is like huge this is my planner that i've been using and as you can see it's so big so i never bring it to school because it's so heavy the last thing that i got are these pants from uniqlo but i'm gonna be returning them because my mom roasted me <laughs> they're these corduroy pants but they're like a really dark brown they almost look black these are actually like the men's pants but my sister recommended them they also are like super big on me this is what it looks like you can't really tell on camera they just look like black pants oh my god don't mind my socks in the background but yeah 
Oh my god, I just stepped on my manga too. Oh wait, that's not my manga, that's my calendar. 